Hey Cookie Fam, it's Cookie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are still trapped down here. I managed to get Echo to go up the stairs, but look at him, he's stinky and he's tired and he's starting to get really impatient, so I managed to get him up the stairs, but I'm gonna have to some down, somehow break down the door because he's eaten all the food, I'm starving, we're both smelly, and we need to get out. And you know what I remembered yesterday? I didn't think I would remember this, but I did. I remember that I left Ace outside so there's a good chance he's either ran away to get food stolen or maybe he's still there i doubt it though i didn't tie him i tied him up but like he would have been able to get away guys i managed to open the door using this crate and a f and the shelf to pry it open i'm literally so happy so we're getting out of here in case anything happens i've just grabbed some hay so yeah all right guys we finally made it outside and moment of truth is ace out here as predicted, Ace is completely gone. I have no idea where he is, but I am guessing it's nowhere good. All right, I'm leaving Echo here. The vet is going to clean him up. She's going to feed him. She's going to make sure he's all good and checked out. Um, she's definitely glad to see him because I'm very close with the vet. And she was like, yay, he's back. Um, we're also going to check on Paris to see, you know, how's her foal doing. Obviously, she hasn't given birth to the foal yet, but... We're just going to see how she's doing with the foal because she's a first-time mother, I think. Here's Paris in the other stable. The vet said she's doing great and would be due anytime soon now. Not like in a few days, but like in a few weeks. If anyone's wondering, I've taken Pumpkin home, but Echo and Paris are going to stay the night here as they're still healing up. The vet probably thinks I'm literally abusing them because they've ended up in the vet's like three times in the last two weeks so yeah i'm so annoyed ace is gone it is freezing cold so i have no idea where he could have gone he could have run away he could have been taken he would have been starving because i've been there like all night and i'm definitely gonna call the sheriff and you guys are like probably like why haven't you called her yet the reason being is because i care more about my horses i want to make sure they're all good they're not sick or hurt so now i'm gonna go to the sheriff Okay, I just finished talking to the sheriff and she said today she's going to send out a group of sheriffs to check out the house and to see if anyone's there. But I'm guessing the um, horse thief or whatever is not going back because he trapped me there, didn't feed me all night, and Echo is in very bad condition. Anyways, now we have a new problem trying to find Ace. So I didn't tell her about that because I was more worried about catching the person because if I found Ace and then he took another one of my horses, that would just be deja vu and be very annoying. So I told her that and I'm going to look for Ace for myself. Most of my horses are at home, safe and sound. I've got cameras at home and I've got cameras in the field. So if anyone's there, I'm going to get an alert on my phone. Obviously, the horses are always moving around there, but I can always check the live um, cameras to see if anyone's there. So I know they're safe and I have the same at home, except it's more like high tech because obviously I don't own the yard and choose the cameras. And plus, they'd be more expensive anyway to put in a field because... They'd have to sustain, like, conditions and plus it's horses, so, yeah. I'm going around on foot because I don't want to lose another horse, but, yeah. Ace is not in the red barn. He's not in either of these shops. He's not in any of these shops here, and I'm not talking about the vets. Um, and I did just get a call from the vet that Echo should be fine to go home today because all he had was a bit of rubbing on his face from the halter, which he just treated quickly with some cream, so, yeah. I don't want this to be selfish, but now we're going to go on horseback to check the hills and the mountains, but I will not be dismounting my horse. And if I do, I'm going to be leading them around because I'm not losing another horse. All right, I decided to take Blaze since he's really quick. And also I missed our race training today. So now he's going to have some endurance training. Ace is nowhere to be found, so that was a good race training for Blaze, but we still have to go over to the mountains. It's a bit slippy, so I'm kind of worried, but it's okay. Nobody told me what a good jumper Blaze was. Okay, I just went to the mi into the mines through the waterfall and then out the cave um, here, and Ace was not in there. Okay, this was dumb, but I did decide to take a look because it's not raining. Yes, it's snowing, but it's barely snowing, and Blaze is a lot more sure-footed than Pumpkin is, and we can get up here a lot quicker. Once again, this was pointless because Ace is not up here. Now, the only place they haven't checked is the supermarket and obviously the house, but I was in the house and when I left, I checked the house to make sure nobody was there and none of my horses were stolen in there as well. There's a pretty nice view up here, but I don't see any Ace. I can see some of my horses, but that's about it. We're going to check up around the hills where the breeding center is and then we're going to check 
the town hall and supermarket. All right, I've just checked up along here and around the breeding center and Ace is not there. Ace wasn't in the town hall. All right guys, I just talked to Benedict and he seemed really suspicious, so I'm kind of worried. What was that noise? It came from down here. I always thought this was a storeroom. I'm gonna try break it open when Benedict's not looking. I got it, what's down here? Oh my gosh, what is this place? It looks like some kind of sedatives for horses to keep them quiet while they steal them. I never knew that Benedict, our friendly local seller, would be behind some of this. Ace is down here too, look at all this. I wonder if he's drugged as well. He's got the same bridle on his Echo, so I'm assuming Benedict and the horse thief are in co-ops. Okay, we need to get out of here, I don't wanna get trapped. I took a bottle of that stuff to show the sheriff and the vet. All right, guys, I'm so glad it's over, but I'm going to be going to the vet straight away. I'm sorry, Beth, but we need to check out this um, weird vial. And also, I need to know if it's still in Ace's system. So I'm going to bring Ace to the vets, and then I'm going to show the sheriff the purple vial. All right, guys, so Ace is on the vet table, and I've just told the vets what happened. She's going to check his system and everything, his blood. And now we're gonna go to the sheriff. All right, I just updated the sheriff about how I found the vial, I found Ace. None of my horses are missing now, but some other people's probably are. But the horse thief is still on the loose and she's definitely gonna be questioning Benedict and hopefully arresting him. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're wondering how I got into that room at like, you know, the bottom, I used an alt account and did the Oreo quest on it. And I like teleported to the account when they were in there. So that's kind of how I did it. Um. And also, if you're wondering when I'm announcing the giveaway, I announced it on Monday, so two days ago. And I announced the winner on there by spinning a wheel. And it's on my community tab, so, like, I didn't post anything about it, but, like, I did post on my community tab. And I think by the time this is posted, I've probably given the horse to her, which was a Napster for a cross with a paint. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Take, it took a long time because I had to get up all these alt accounts and stuff, and it was kind of confusing or whatever, but yeah. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell on it so you get notified whenever I do upload and you get to be first to some of these um, videos like the horse thief. And yeah, let me know more ideas you guys do have because a lot of you are very creative. This is personally my own idea, but I do have loads more from fans who did give them to me. And I try my best to read all your comments. I may not reply to them, but I definitely do read them and I appreciate them. Make sure to join my group. I have loads of clothing on there and I post loads of stuff that's kind of where i announce if i'm filming so you guys can join and you can join by going on my profile and my joints are usually on if you want to join it's on my profile and my joints are on for followers so you need to follow to join and the other way is by clicking the server link on my group shout and it'll um put you straight in my private server which is where i am right now make sure to follow my tiktok our joint account and hazel's tiktok which is really new i do appreciate it i'm gonna post more and everything um so yeah Stay tuned because Paris is in full and she might have her phones her full soon. So yeah, make sure to also join Hazel's group on Roblox and cute simple clothing. I appreciate it so much. So thank you if you do do that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.